Welcome, 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 welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22 here on Edgewater. Oh, y'all wasn't supposed to see that. Folks, and there's my phone going off. Um, we got a few things to try. Uh, as you can see, there's a pile of something over there. What is that could be? That is wood chips. Uh, took the wood chips that I uh, had here. And uh, yeah, you can see right here I got a big old pile that accidentally came out. And then the uh, rest of them was emptied here. There's all the wood chips. Uh, me, Mr. Yankee, uh, Dan from 3D Outdoors, Christy, uh, Games Gone Nuts. Uh, there, there's quite a few. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry about that. Uh, but we all been out here uh, doing some work. Uh, I had some gravel hauled in. And uh, they come out and it's not dry yet. But look at how they done this. I love it. They said do not open the gates yet. Because it's helping support it. Uh, probably tomorrow we'll be able to I cannot get this sign to stay every time I leave the game come back in it it's it's turned but yeah I like that welcome to Mr. Blue Farms I wish the license plate wasn't there it is you know you can spell it out but any other digital creators uh like for uh uh, making signs and stuff for farm sim. Uh, 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 Send me a, a text or something in the comments, or, or you know, leave me a comment. And I want a couple of signs made for the game. That way, I could, like put little stickers on the side of the tractors and stuff. But anyway, I went in and had this redone. I put the pipe on it, which. In, in the game, it costs a hundred thousand dollars to put this pipe on. So I added a hundred thousand, redone the pipe, and uh, you know, so we're back to our normal money. But it's going to show up looking different. And we also got a global market that I added. Uh, you can see flax. We got eighty-eight thousand three hundred forty-four liters. And over here to the right side is uh, prices that we can make off of this. Uh, we can sell to the global market. We can buy from the global market. Uh, but I do not see flax on here nowhere. We're going to go to this. And this is the new loan system for Farm Sim. We're currently 300000 in the hole. Uh, 3.5 interest. Monthly payments are $8,923. I'm curious to see if it's going to actually pay that back or if we have to. And uh, each month, uh, well, there's 36 months remaining term, 36 months. Uh, remaining the amount is 300000 So 36 months. What is that, three years? Oh, well, two years, 24. So, huh. I was curious to see how that's going to work. Um, or soybeans. Let's see. Let's go over here. Turn grass on. Go to ready to harvest. Is this in here? And our soybeans are still in the green. As you can see. They're getting there. But I did see a couple of harvests uh, fixing to happen. But as I checked where I go. And... We go to soybeans right here. I know I'm jumping around. My mouse ain't working right now. But anyway, soybeans, this is the last day. After today, the they're going to uh, wilt or expire, whatever you want to call it. So I'm curious about that. Uh, um, as you can see, rain and snow's coming. Um, here's time saving stop. Time saving stop check. Um, our flax and flax straw is in January when it's due. 
and you see here we'll get $38 is the max price max value for what I got um, price is 37 right now for straw but um, get 28,000 for flax straw now I want to go to here we have a flax straw uh, contracts and supply or supply and transport or whatever flax straw is 7,000 and we go back up here or was it right here it shows that we're gonna get wait that's 28,000 that's oh oh man I'm gonna cancel that I canceled it why is it gonna oh man I just lost 6,000 if we had 108,000 liters of flex we only got 88,000 we could get a lot of money but anyway I just messed up and lost 6,000 great um, just great anyway I think we had 18 yeah now we got 12 but anyway uh, this is oh let me go into here and show y'all probably best to go into ooh use vehicle cell I'm, I'm trying to think this is our own items it should be right here big bags it's global goods transport bag and uh, we gave a little bit more for that as sale price but it holds wood chips and everything else um, I did get the unrealistic uh, thing and here you can see um, it holds uh, 50 50,000 or five I don't know let's get in a tractor and see but you can see this side here is discharge this side says auto load and uh, yeah let's, let's get in here and show y'all I'm going to start it up I'm going to detach you can see I don't have no spikes on here you just take the front loader go to whichever side you want and boom and it pops up forks for you that is so neat all right uh, I think I'm far enough away from everything all right let's switch to this and we're gonna go pipe out we're gonna switch back to this we're gonna raise it up raise up Oh, don't tell me it's not going to work. Have I got to turn it on? There it goes. Well, it was. There it goes, right there. On DJ Goham, and there was another guy. Um... I, I guess it filled it. Uh, turn this round thing off. Goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to take down a couple trees right here. Uh, I like them, but I think we're going to take them down. And uh, Actually, I just want that one gone. So I'm back on the back. I'm going to turn this thing on. Kind of back up in here where y'all can see falls over back up get the stump boom trees gone there it goes it's not working as good as it is but when we get the other tractor that we're going to get yes we're going to get another tractor I'm going to lease to own I'm going to go ahead and cut this ud in here There's the stump you can see. And it just kind of back up into it and it'll disappear. But anyway, it kind of works. 
the one I saw, it had the bag lifted on the back and the tree divider was on the front. Uh, three point, yeah, see. We took these trees down. Looks a little bit better. Um, but I want to show y'all something. We gotta go out here. And I'm trying to hurry up. We're already 11 minutes in. I'm sorry we ain't getting that much done. But you can see the yard right there is cleaned up a little bit better. So I'm gonna have cross this ditch right here, I think. Glad it ain't muddy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, 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 I'm spinning. There we go. I want to show you how much room I made over here by clearing some of these trees out. And I've been doing some plowing too with the tractor over there. But look here. Look how much more we can plow this up. Get the weeds out of it and stuff. This ditch don't start to right here. Okay. I'm going to turn the noise maker back on. Sometimes you have to lift it up or pull up. They eventually chew through all of it as long as you get lined up right. Some of them are kind of you have to lift up, go over them a little bit, let it back down. But if you don't back all the way up to them when you first chop them, they usually works pretty good, see? Um, oh, about right there. I'm going to try to keep it there. But this ditch starts here. And let's show all this off. If I get out and look, this kind of looks like it's on high ground. What little can tell, you know, it's all high right here. A little bit higher over there, but we can fill this ditch in enough where we can cross. Uh oh, we got some water right here. I might need to wait a little bit about it film the ditch in because it could be a, a spring or something there but anyway we can get some of these trees down and you can see how much more ground we can gain around this ditch here and same over there and, and same there you know so that's what I'm going to be doing off screens, taking down some of these trees, filling this bag up and stuff. And see this ditch here, shut this off. And where, where's it start? Where's that? Yeah, see? They're kind of wet right here too. Yeah, it starts right here, but we can gain another 10 feet. And about eight feet on this sign, I, I think it's going to work out. And this tractor here, don't really like this subsoil. We, we lose a, a lot of traction. See how the tires are just spinning? And the other side sets in. Boy, this ground's dusty. Might have to change the dust effects on that. Which, that is a mod. Um, I am going to get... A, uh, a tractor in this episode. We're going to lease it. Uh, it's going to be mainly for fertilizing and stuff like that. Alright, that looks pretty good there. Might bring a tractor in to get some of this brush and stuff out with a mower. Oh, I hit that too hard. I'm going to slow me through the windshield. But I'm going to do the same on this side. Uh, just go around, getting this all a little bit bigger and stuff. And then we got to do some 
Um, yeah, I was parked here. I had a mission here and had, using some of our fertilizer. Um, so let's go back to this guy. I'm going to go out here. I, I've tried to put down a straw uh, storage place where, you know, it'll be out of the water, out of the weather. Yeah, out of the water, rain water. But it, when I put here, it, it set them outside. It was a storage place for them, but it didn't cover them up, so it didn't look realistic. So this thing here, it's going to come down. We're going to have somebody come out and uh, tear it down for us. And of course, um, let's go ahead and pretend. Where did it go? Uh, H to sell decoration. Map object hider. It says it's sell. Let's go in this other way and sell it that way. Um, construction. Um, I wish we could. I tried hiding that little piece there, but I, it wouldn't. Oh. I can't get it to do nothing. I hid it too, but you know, basically all this stuff here is this hid with the maps object hider. And I did this here too, but it's still showing back up along with this. So I'm gonna have to go in the, um, the map editor thing and do that. Uh, sell decoration for zero dollars. Uh, yeah, okay. But if I can't do this, we're just going to raise the ground up over it to hide it that way. And we're going to put a, a straw storage shed or something here. But, um, yeah, I wish I'd kept that contract on that. Man, wrong one. Let's go in the contracts again and look real quick. Uh... I still flex. Uh, it's not giving me no new actual contracts. I don't know. This mod made a a thing where it didn't do anything else. But I wish we had some more flex. We'd take that offer there. But cereal, 187 liters of cereal. I don't know. So we can go in here and actually buy. Um, pallets and we can go over somewhere in here um, cereal pallets right here um, thousand liters you see how many pallets that would take oh that's a lot of pallets but that's that's not for us uh, let's get out of here I'm gonna show y'all our uh, beans see they still not ready and I got this here. I'm going to move the straw bales out of the way. Uh, basically, we set up and ready for harvest. It's this ain't nothing done yet. Do I not have a tractor up? No, because I completed that contract. Okay, um, I know we don't have much money. Let's see here. I need tractors. Um, is it medium? It's a case Loomis series. I don't know. Oh, look at that big tractor. Oh, yeah. Too bad it don't have a. Oh, wow. That's neat. That's supposed to be narrow tires, but ones we're getting a little bit narrow than that. Let me see if I can find it real fast, folks, and I'll be right back. All right, I, I think I found it. It's L U X X U M Luxum Luxum series. But anyway, we're going to switch it from 99 to 117 horsepower. That's the max on this one. Uh, trailer bar. We're going to go narrow tires, and they are narrow. Uh, beacons. We're going to do left and right. This oh well, they got others, but we're going to go left and right. Uh, Tatchers, uh, we're going to go with three point. Um, 
because we can put the uh, the uh, tree divider on the front of this and put the, that lifter thing on the back. Uh, front loader attacher, we're going to go with Quickie. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are going to go with the Ever How You Say Pro Compact thing. It's a uh, thing, the white thing on top and the white things on the mirrors. Uh, as you can see, it detects the real nitrogen demand on your crops. Uh, driving with this sensor over your field, you'll get more precise information on nitrogen that is required. With this information, the fertilization will be more accurate and results in a higher yield. Compared to, uh, this system can only be used at daytime. Okay. So we're going to go with that. Uh, GPS is a must. That way we won't be overlapping that much or underlapping uh main color i'm gonna go with black i don't know why folks i just i like black it, it's it's different rim color we're going with black look how good that looks oh my god that is so sexy A license plate uh let's see why uh back only i'm gonna go with front and back there we go. Get the license plate right there. That way they can see who we are. And we got it on the back at the top. And that's that's it. Um, I don't think. Yeah, see, we can. Well, we can change that, but. I don't see no narrow tires in there nowhere. Um, go back to this and be KTs. We just got twin wheels and got a lot of weights there. Minus is the same thing. There's a lot of weight differences in them and um, can't think what that word's called, but same thing, just different weights. Mission tires they look pretty good but still is this it's changing the weights all it's doing and tires so here we got narrow tires that's what we need and i think our sprayer that we got is narrow tires too so yeah but that's all the changes and stuff i'm gonna make and i'm gonna hit x to lease six thousand two hundred and ninety five dollars yes uh it is rent to own so or at least own and uh yeah we're down to six thousand um now i want to go in here i gotta find something else and i'll be right back this is not the thing i'm looking at but lost measurement system i was talking to a guy he said he recommends that we get this for a combine when we're doing soybeans to help improve our yield well not really prove the yield but improve the loss so um, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. I know I'm running through uh, money like crazy, and uh, there's another thing in here. It's called bag lifter or something like that. All oh, these rocks. I just I don't know if it's on this side here. I want to get this too. Um, it goes up to 240 centimeter bales like it shows the square bales but uh, we can get auto load on that and we can pick up our square bales and stuff a lot better uh, bale pusher I, I'd like to have that but uh, uh, oh it's got whiff lights okay we might get that. We can change the color of it too. Uh, that'd be good for other tractor oil. Um, oh yeah. Oh man, I forgot about that. And this is seventeen thousand. We need this. We're gonna have to do some more contracts so to get that. Man. Um, let's see if it's on over here. I might have to um, bring y'all back here in a second when I find it. That's the only thing about it is trying to find it. Um, Front loader tools, maybe. 
Oh, it won't be a front loader tool. It's something like this, but it, it's it's a three three point hitch thing that goes on the back, and it hooks to a pallet. But let me bring you back out and try to find it. I had to wait till the nosy neighbor's car got past because it's it's loud. But anyway, I found it. It's in front loaders. Okay, and it's this thing right here, back lifter, and we gonna go jet black. Yeah, yeah, that'll work out to match our tractor too. Um, I, I don't have the money right now. It's forty seven hundred. I got forty two hundred. I could lease it, but again, we can just use what we got right now to finish up with trees and stuff, and uh, go from there. And here's our tractor. Uh, vehicle leasing calls 6295 and 2000 new vehicle. Must be the other little thing there. But here's what it looks like on the outside. Got our tag up there. Oh, it's even got the name of the town. Cool. Um, first set of lights is this one. Got lights up on there. Second set is the back. Third is the front again. Got them all over the top. And fourth is off. I don't know. I don't think I can hook to this with a tractor. Now, might get the pickup truck to bring up here. We gotta get other things loaded. Uh, those are our pallet spikes. Whoa! Right, I'm gonna have to get a weight. Yeah, this thing's kind of heavy. All right, down to the weights. I was looking at one, but I'm like, well, we don't really got the money to buy one. Um, where was it? Um, see, those are six thousand some, and these are strapper bolts. Where's that one I saw? That's close to the beginning. Uh, I guess a, a, a G company, ag company, 900,000 there, 1100, 1500, 2300, 33 for a flint, and 6000. Yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, oh, there's, the strappable ones, uh, 2,400 for the AC Delco. This one here is 2,500. Then it goes a flint. And let's see this in here. It's just a plain weight. 37, man, that's high. AC Delco is 2,400, it's a little bit cheaper. It's Customize, change the color to jet black. $100 for that. Hey, damn it. Alright, we're going by. We're probably going to be going in the hole here soon. Wait, looking. I'm going to have to drop that off. Get the weight. I'm going to get the truck, bring up here. Oh, yeah, I dropped that front down quite a bit. Okay. Yep. Maybe it'll be alright. Whoa. It's back in slide around in. But the spreader we, we bought. Um, it's a 42 meter I believe. And it's going to help us get some contracts. Which I hope we have here soon. Um, it's... I might have to take this out. <sighs> I wonder if I can buy. Oh, that's a uh, cereal there. Uh, flax. I wonder if I can buy some. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to wait for contracts to pop up. Uh, bring the truck up here, get that stuff so we can be putting it on a combine. Um, John said I can park this out front. That way, nobody. Uh, 
get it or do anything to it and lock the door. And I guess I better take the trailer, so I'm gonna get the weeder off. I guess I better unstrap them first. Um, there we go. Back of the truck's empty, but I'm gonna have them. I think I can just pick that up. Uh, oh, uh, brush cutter. Yep. I'm gonna put this in the shed. I'm gonna get some things done, folks, and uh, I'm gonna bring y'all back here in a minute. And I'm gonna try to at least do some. Uh, other way. There we go. Drop that right there. Get it a little bit more. There we go. But we gotta save room for a header in here. Probably put the lot up more up here or something. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna, uh, I'll have to get the tractor to get that out. But anyway, I'll bring y'all right back. Oh, ladies and gents, form sim people, I can't borrow or repay from this screen no more. What have I done? What have I done? We're gonna have to go up here, take loans, special redemptions. Take loan. Please specify the amount and term of the loan. Uh, max is that. Let's see. I want twenty-five thousand and years, maybe two. Monthly repayment is thousand ninety-seven. Repayment amount with interest is nine hundred and eight dollars. Well, that's not bad. I got somebody texts me that's asking for Jim. My name's Tommy, and I hate when it's like that. Let's see. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this because I'm going to take that loan out. So now we got two loans. We might go in bankrupt, folks. But we're going to go in here. Uh, they use the front loader over there to load this. I might have to do it to get this thing. Um, let's see here. It's going to be down here. And miscellaneous. And we go all the way over. All the way over. Oop. I think I missed. Uh, we got. Okay. We got this thing here we can put on the front. But we also have to do soil samples. This is the original soil sample. Okay. There's no customizations whatsoever. Well, and this goes with it. These here that we're looking at, yep, we're just gonna look at these four right here. They got Scott M, 32.5, Scott L, 65, Scott Extra Large, 130, and then Scott Extra Extra Large, 260. They're all 17,000. I'm like, go big or go home is what I've always been taught, right? Well, you want to try this one? So, sometimes, I, I think it's it's going to be 260 meters. I think oh, it will do half of the map. So I'm just going to go with a 130 and try it. Uh, customize. Uh, main color, I think it's fine. Let's try what the cover to this. Uh, fifty dollars. You know, seventeen fifty. So that ain't too bad. That looks pretty good right there. I like the way that looks. It's not all gray and stuff. So we are going to buy this. Yes. Okay. Now we got nine thousand left to help us out, hire a worker if we need it, and stuff like that. Uh, great demand. At, uh, something other. Something other. $17,050 new vehicle. What's the great demand for? Uh, where's our... Oh, here's our tester thing. Oh, I forgot. I got it. Yeah, this ain't too heavy. We'll put this in the back of the truck. Whoa. Back of the truck. There we go. I'm going to get somebody to load this up for us, even though I know I can pick it up. I'm going to pretend somebody's loading it right. Let's go see what that great demand is. Um, I don't really know where. 
that would show the great demand. Ain't they supposed to be? Oh, right here. Corn. They're showing blue, so that should be a uh, great demand, I think. We don't have no. Oh, we don't have no corn. Uh, let's go on down. I wish it would tell you because all I saw was great demand at uh, that place here. And so far, yeah, so far, only thing I've seen that was blue was that one. Um, 1131. Yeah, 1131 looks like the best and show that and show in January. So that one thing is right. Um, it's two o'clock in the evening and our stuff is soybean is still not ready. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna strap this stuff down. Yeah, let's strap this down too. Get in the truck. Yeah, we're good to go. We gotta do our soil samples. We'll do that in the next episode. Um, since I got a little bit of money, I'm gonna get somebody taking this. Oh, that's not strapped down. Okay, all straps on. I'm gonna hire a worker. Uh, great job. Go to. Uh, oh, they came out and put some more uh, gravel down. So I want to show that. I'm um, going to use this gate here. Start job. I always go down one and hit B. There we go. He, he's in there. Oh, Dan's taking it for us. All right. Let's go. Uh, I also want to show you what they have done. If I can find it. Oh, sorry, being still green. Here we go. Uh, go to the front of the house. They took the fence out already. The fence is gone. My, my guys and girls are working good. Um, they brought some gravel out and brought it. It was like up to right, right here. $15 wedge payment. Uh, you can see the tracks right there, I guess. Looks like. Um, but they brought it. Got to right, right here. So that's pretty good. I'm going to wait by graveling the rest of this. Because this shop and silos may come down. And we'll put up some more silos. And a, a bigger shed. I, I don't know yet. Uh, we might use some of the farmland. I don't know. But uh, I do know I'm going to work on this. We're, we're going to get it leveled out somehow. Uh, my hire crew come in and do it. Got to get rid of this. Only way I know it's getting in the GE Giants editor. Well, folks, I'm sorry we ain't done very much today. Uh, let's see if there's any more contracts real quick before we leave. Let's see here. No animals yet. I want to get some sheep or some chickens. But I don't know where to put the pen, so. Um sugar beets don't have we don't have none of that now that right there cereal okay let's go in see how much cereal is we're gonna need a hundred and eighty seven thousand of cereal I ain't gonna accept nothing yet uh, like I said go to the pallet oh hope I didn't buy nothing we're gonna go all the way over here um, cheese cereal right here 1500 a pallet only for a thousand liters I'll get 16 at a time so it's 16,000 liters let me do the math real quick I'll be right back all right to take over see that sign right there it's turning again I guess maybe it's where it needs to be so don't need to be in front of that pole um anyway um it's going to cost about $270,000 to get enough cereal for that contract. I don't know why I parked it right here. But anyway, go, well, I, I, it, it's not going to be worth it. But anyway, 
I'm going to get off here, folks. Uh, it's 44 minutes. I don't know if I can shorten this up or not, but uh, I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I'll see you in the next episode. Sorry to make it short, but bye.